doing well. I want to talk about intentionality on today. I have officially declared 2024 the year of intentionality for my clients, for those of you watching, um, and definitely for my own life. And when we think about intentionality, we can just simply think about a concept of getting results on purpose. I'm going to say that again, a concept of getting results on purpose. I want to share like a simple practice that you can do as we're closing out 2023 and moving into 2024 to assure that 2024 is actually the year of intentionality for you. I want to start with three simple questions um, that we can break down as we move forward for you to ask yourself, for you to take some time. I want you to, you know, find time. You know, this is probably not the best time for many of you to do it as you may be spending time with family and things of that nature, but dedicate um, a good two hours of your time to really deep dive into these three questions and, you know, comb through so that you can get answers for being more intentional about next year. And remember, the concept of being intentional in this context is about getting results on purpose. How many of you know that we can get results in our life and we're like, I don't even know how this happened. Um, sometimes that's a good thing. We get all of these surprises from um, momentum or the compound effect of things that we've been doing in our life. And boom, these amazing things happen. But at the same time, we can get results in our life and have the same thought process like, how did I get here? And so I want to take the time to, you know, just walk through these three questions with you so that the results that you're getting are intentional and anything else that happens is a surprise but it's a beautiful surprise right so number one take a look at how 2023 unfolded for you right this is the concept of what we're going to be doing in this particular exercise number one what goals did you achieve what goals did you achieve and i want you to you know get your journal um, some paper and actually write these things down. If you followed me for a long time, you know that I stand on writing things down, write the vision, make it plain, Habakkuk 2, 2, and 2 through 3. For those of you who want to, you know, relay this to a scriptural reference, but take some time to really write these things down. So acknowledge and celebrate your wins. That's the first thing that I want you to do. Really take some time to see what were some of the great things that really happened for me in 2023, I want you to acknowledge them and then find time or find ways to celebrate all of the great things that you've done. Um, evaluate your goals to assure that they're actually your goals. Now, what I mean by this is oftentimes we can have connections and conversations with people and we begin to take on these goals that aren't even our own, right? And so I want you to evaluate your goals and assure that they're actually your goals. Um, oftentimes when we're connecting with people and um, even collaborating with people, or having conversations with people, if we're not careful, we'll recognize that some of the things we're now pushing for or we're desiring in our life aren't even ours. Like we've pivoted away from what we really desired, whether we are compromising or sacrificing. And you know, everyone knows that there's a measure of that that we all have to do but to the point where it's not even your goal anymore, it's not even your desire. So take this time to assure that the goals that you are aiming for are actually um, your goals. Have you moved the goalpost, right? Um, because of a conversation that, that you've had or um, connections that you've had, if you've created a solid vision, this is so important, this is why I talk about vision all the time, this is why I teach vision concepts all the time, because if you find that you have moved the goalpost or you somehow pivoted from what you actually desired and what you actually deserve, I want to be clear on that and what you actually deserve, because that's important. If you find that that has happened, if you have a solid vision, if you've created a solid vision in your life, you can always uh, um, align back with that vision. <clears throat> I go really deep on this inside the academy because I see so many people building businesses and life and lives 
that they don't even love, right? So you want to assure that the goals that you're um, achieving or that you're aiming for are actually your goals. Your vision should include six elements of your life, right? We're still on the question, what goals did you achieve? Your vision should um, include six areas of your life. I call them the six elements of life alignment. They include your um, social and cultural life, your financial life, your career, your business. They include home and relationships, health and well-being, personal development, all the things. Um, and I deep dive on this inside um, Design Your Destiny, which is the first module inside 3D Success Academy because it's the forerunner for everything else that you create thereafter. So your vision is um, so important. Most people want to live a life without stress and they desire to be happy. How many of you know that's a great desire to have? But realistically, life has its own stressors built in, right? They're natural. Um, so it's how you handle those stressors that is one of the most important things. But even above that, when you, you know, are evaluating your goals and things that you really desire, do you have things that you are aligned with that are causing more stress than necessary? That's what this is. This is a deep dive uh, into uh, really being able to be intentional about the goals that you want to create for 2023. Um, the next question that you want to ask yourself is, how did I spend my time in 2023? And you got to be honest with yourself. How did I spend my time? Did I spend my time in alignment with the vision that I have for my life? Did I spend my time doing things that will cultivate my gifts and skill sets that are needed for even the goals that I may have in my business? Did I spend my time in relationship with people who were a match and an alignment for what it is I desire even in the area of relationships? For those of you who may be dating, are those people in alignment? How did you spend your time in 2023? This is important because if you're not aware, you will pick up which is what most people do why most people create the same results every single year over and over and over in their life because they they haven't taken um the time to bring awareness to how they're living out their life so how did you spend your time in 2023 and the third question i want you to ask yourself is who did who did i spend my time with who did i spend the, my time with do those people have the capacity for what it is that I deserve and I desire. Are those people vibrating at the energy level that I need to vibrate vibrate at in order to attract the things do, that I want in my life? Am I only having happy moments with these people like every now and then? And then the downward spiral of being connected to them is so much heavier than the happy moments. You, you gotta analyze those particular things. Have I been spending time with people who have the capacity for what it is I say I desire. If it's more wealth you want in your life, if you want more simplicity in your business, if you want fulfillment, you know, not just doing things because maybe we saw it on social media and everyone else is doing it, but things that really bring joy and fulfillment and peace into your life. Because happy moments are one thing, but a joyous life overall is important. So this exercise will give you an opportunity to look at the big picture to take a look at how 2023 unfolded for you and ask yourself is this what i deserve and i desire and then find ways to be more intentional about what it is that you say you want for those of you who want to have um, someone who has the capacity to walk you through the process um, of building and creating the business and lifestyle you love, 3D Success Academy is available. It's open. It's um, one of the most ultimate uh, growth tracks, a foundational piece of really creating a business and a lifestyle that you love. I'll put that link in the comments for you. Take some time. Make it spend a couple hours on this. It's important. What's two hours for an entire amazing, intentional year? And so... In the Renew community, our goal for 2024 is intentionality, right? And that is intentionally getting the results that you desire, being intentional about um, achieving your goals and who you're spending your time with and how you're spending your time 
as we uh, move into 2024. You guys have a super amazing blessed day as always. For those of you who would like added support um, and private time, you can message me. I have ways that um, we can connect and um, my VIP days are an amazing way uh, to do that. And those of you who want kind of a hybrid um, type of support where it's kind of self-paced and you also have the added opportunity to um, work with me the academy is an amazing way to do that you guys have a super amazing intentionally blessed day